Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have 11 Mimikyu EX showcases. So that's 22 packs of Silver Tempest and 11 packs of Evolving Skies. Um, I've been trying to tell myself to stop buying these, but the Walmart I found them at, I also found these four Evolving Skies ETBs, which I don't plan to rip. I plan to basically uh, resell them. I make about 25 bucks a piece in profit on them when I do that, so that paid for all of these Mimikyu showcases more or less. Anyways, picked all of that up, so keep checking your Walmarts is the point of that, because Evolving Skies does get restocked still. Anyways, on to the first pack of Silver Tempest. The main reason I just have been kind of turning away from these a little more it's because I don't want to keep making the same video over and over on YouTube when the pulls seem to be um, kind of stagnating, I guess, from these two sets. But you never know. There's a breaks in to start things off and a guard of war. Put the breaks in on the card stand. Um, but I just haven't pulled anything like too incredibly cool out of these. It's been good on average. I mean, don't get me wrong, but. No alt arts or anything like that. And we've got 151 coming out soon. I want to make sure I'm ready to just be all over that when it's available. Let's see. Dawn Fan and an Alolan Vulpix V Star. We'll trade out. Vulpix wins. Not off to a bad start, though. A couple of good little pulls. Back to a white code. Don't mind those if I'm getting trainer galleries. Jinx and a Talon Flame. Reverse Worker, and a Terrakian Hollow. Would be really stoked to pull an alternate art out of one of these, but at this point I'm so deep into buying these uh, Mimikyu boxes that, you know, no matter what, it's not exactly going to make up for it. I mean, unless I pulled like a Moonbreon or something, but at the end of the day, it's still just a product I like. It's a pretty cheap way to get Evolving Skies, Superior V. Um, which is not a very easy set to find at MSRP, but I did find those four ETBs today. So, you know, obviously it'd be more fun to rip them, but historically ripping ETBs of Evolving Skies is just not a great idea. It can be, but you got to get pretty lucky. Unidentified Fossil and Frostlass. Seems like a pretty even ratio of um, white and black code cards though, so that's not bad. I'm not getting shut out too hard. Vulpix and an Aria dose, but rare hollows don't really help the case at all. Still sitting at three little pulls. Hard to remember to do the card trick correctly because I've been opening so much uh, Obsidian Flames. Hey, there's the Gardevoir Trainer Gallery and the Gardevoir uh, Normal Non Hollow Rare. Back to a good code card. do better than a rare hollow unless it's forest seal stone I'll take all of those it is Articuno Bug 
Brakeson and Miss Magius. Looks like I'm down to about half of the Silver Tempest packs. As always, save the Evolving Skies for last to try to bait out a crazy pull. Reverse Vulpix and Miss Magius again. I must have got really lucky when these first came out though, because I remember just getting pull after pull from these things, like rainbows and golds and secret rares galore. Reverse Dreepy and another hollow Articuno. Not what I want to see here. The Evolving Skies could make up for all of it, of course, but, you know, that's that's an even tougher set, so can't exactly count on it, but still fun to rip and try to get something good. Altaria Trainer Gallery and Fion. A lot of uh, Trainer Gallery cards, three so far. On a little run of white code cards here, though. Lopunny and Cobalion. Reggie Lucky cover artwork. There we go, back to a good code. Can we get something better than Articuno Hollow, though? Fletchling. Hey, there we go, the Forest Seal Stone. It is officially the best pull of the opening. Doesn't look like anything special, but pretty competitive card, and it's worth you know around ten bucks, ten to twelve dollars usually. So I will take those. The earthen seal stone in the set not worth anything, but that forest seal stone is a good one to pull. Got another good code card, I think. Reverse Indeedy, and another Superior V. Superior and Chestnut V are probably the two cards I pull most from this set. That Forest Seal Stone too, it's kind of tough to pull because it's not, as far as I know, it's not available in Reverse Hollow, so you have to get it from a... Uh, holographic slot in a pack. Yeah, I don't think any of the seal stone cards were available as reverses though. There's two in this set and one in Crown Zenith. Back to another good code card. Can we get something out of it? Altaria Trainer Gallery and a Hollow Rapidash. But that's two Altarias. I'm gonna double up on something. Let's make it that or a seal stone, huh? Back to a white code. Venonat and Cobalion. Alright, it's like three packs left of Silver Tempest, and then it is on to the Nail Biter, the Evolving Skies. Got a good code here. Not a single V-Star uh, energy, I don't think, out of this whole opening so far. Reverse Solosis, hey, and an unknown V-Star. So a couple of normal V-Star pulls. Second to last pack of Tempest. Can we get a trainer gallery from this one since we don't have a good code card? Let's see. Hey, there we go. I called it Duraludon VMAX. One I've pulled actually a handful of times, but still a very cool one to pull. I love this card. I love the artwork and, uh, you know, worth around $10, $10 or so. So a couple of pretty decent pulls from Silver Tempest. Then maybe a little last pack of Silver Tempest magic here. Is 
do have a chance with the black border code card. Alright. Show me something good. Reverse Venomoth and a normal V. Ursaluna this time. Didn't have the uh, Chestnut V come to haunt me in this opening. But, yeah, usually something I pull. We're going to put Duraludon VMAX Trainer Gallery up there and hopefully replace it with something spicy from Evolving Skies. 11 packs here. I'm hoping to see a lot of old style code cards and not not this type, the green and white variety of them, of course. Evolving Skies is just super tough without having any kind of trainer gallery cards to pull. There's basically nothing good out of the reverse hollow slot. So much of this set has been opened that there's not really, like anything that's bulk is bordering on worthless. So you really gotta get you know, ultra rares, V's and above. Even, I don't even think there's any, like, particularly decent rare hollows from this set at all. First two packs were duds. Which, you know, you kind of come to expect with Evolving Skies, but... Have a lot of chances here, 11 packs in total, so hopefully something happens. tough with, uh, you know, 32 packs of it in those ETBs staring me down, but I definitely have to sell them. That's why I bought them, was to make a little profit to fund my other card purchases. So, um, you know, if they, you know, if there's great pulls in them, then awesome for whoever buys them, but it's just not worth the risk to uh, pull a bunch of bulk. Dialga Reverse, and a Drekazult V. First pull from Evolving Skies. Nothing too crazy there, but it is a start. Ooh, back to back good code cards, that's what I like to see. I feel like the old ones have maybe slightly better pull rates, I could be totally making that up, but I feel like they do. Reverse Carvana, ooh, and just a Hollow Zygarde. Six left. The best card I've ever pulled from one of these products was the Sylveon V alternate art, though. So there is, you know, the possibility of pulling something good. It's just very tough with these sets. All right, five to go. There we go, another good code. No more rare hollows for the rest of the opening, please. Reverse Gordy and another normal V Duraludon this time. Four packs left. Got a dead code card out of this one. Lapple. All right, three more. Got the Umbreon pack art. Nothing in this one. Applin and Lilligant. Second to last pack magic. Sylveon cover artwork. Not going to happen. Got the all green code. We got to get something out of that final pack. Definitely hoping for last pack magic. If not, you know, decent quantity of pulls from the amount of packs, but just nothing too crazy today. What do we got here? Ooh, we do have a chance out of the last pack. All right, last pack magic, Umbreon cover artwork. Let's go. Metal Energy, Digging Gloves, Stormy Mountain, Shellgon, Bagon, Love Disc, C Dot, Slackoth, Flabebe, Reverse Eevee, 
and a hollow Mars shadow, of course. Anyways, let's go through the poles real quick. Duraludon V and Dragazolt V from Evolving Skies, and then everything else from Silver Tempest, Forest Seal Stone, Ursaluna V, Unknown V Star, Altaria Trainer Gallery, Superior V, Alolan Vulpix V Star, Altaria Trainer Gallery, Gardevoir Trainer Gallery, Superior V again, Breaks in Trainer Gallery, and Duraludon V Max from the Trainer Gallery. Thank you very much for watching, and please consider subscribing.